if you knew somebody very well and one day you saw them die and they died in a way that you know there was no coming back from, there was no surviving it, just a, you know, a very horrific death. And then somehow a few days later, you're able to see them alive and walking, talking, eating, and doing all the things that you're able to do too. What kind of thoughts would this produce in your mind? How would you think of this person? If you were to see somebody that you knew died and then a few days later they were alive. I believe that if anybody was able to die and then come back and be alive, this would merit the most trust you could ever have into a person. You could know then that this person has answers that nobody else has. This is why there is no other religion, there's no other person in history that can even come close to the um, reliability of Jesus Christ. Because when he was on the cross, he was beaten, he was bloody, he was left hanging, and also when the, when the um, Roman centurions um, thrusted a spear through his side, they saw blood and water come through. And this is a sign that we now know means a person is dead and there was no air in the lungs. So we know he was completely dead and then left three days inside of a tomb. But yet he was seen walking around, talking, eating, and appearing to over 500 people. This should warrant the most trust a person could have in anybody. As one of my favorite teachers always says, if you die and then raise from the dead, I'm going to be very careful to listen to everything you have to say. And this is the way we should feel about Jesus. You know, the fact that um, he died, um, you know, this isn't where the good news starts. You know, a lot of people, this is what, what um, really motivates them the most and what moves them the most is his death on the cross. But this isn't where the good news is. It's not where it ends. Although it is a good thing that he died for our sins as a sacrifice, the good news is that he rose from the dead and he was who he claimed to be. He was God. He was the one who forgave people's sins. He's the one that walked on water and changed, changed the weather. He's the one that rose other people from the dead. The only one with this kind of power that can forgive sins, that can change the weather, that has the power of life and death in his hand is God himself. And that's who Jesus was, God in the flesh. And this is where all of the um, power of Christianity begins in the resurrection. This is where all the power was given to all, all of the disciples, all the apostles. All the power was given after the resur resurrection. At, at Pentecost, they all received the Holy Spirit. And this was um, giving them the power. And this is also the power that gives us the sanctification. It comes from the belief and the re resurrection, not in the death itself, but that he rose from the dead. John 11, 25 through 26. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live even though they die. And whoever lives by believing in me will never die. Do you believe this? We see here that whoever lives by believing will never die. So not only will you be constantly changed by this seed, because this is where Christianity begins. It doesn't, be, it doesn't begin because you got baptized. It doesn't begin because you um, start living a different type of life. It doesn't begin because you gave up drinking or smoking. There's going to be a lot of people in, in hell that don't drink and don't smoke. There's going to be a lot of people that live a good life in um, society's eyes that are going to be in hell because no one comes up to the uh, standard that God gives us, and that is a moral excellence and a moral perfection, which no one can live. Nobody can live this way. We all have flaws, and many of them we don't even know about. So it's so important that we take on the righteousness of Jesus Christ and believe in him. This is where the seed begins. Through belief 
is where you have changes in your reactions, in your actions. We know good and well through experience that the things that you believe change the way you act. If you believe that that um, life is worthless, you're going to live like life is worthless. And people that live like this are are often criminals and are often um, upset with everybody and just walk around with this very negative outlook because of what they believe. It changes the actions of that person. Believing that Jesus Christ actually rose from the dead, physically, his body rose from the dead. Believing this will change the way you act because this will give you a new respect for the words that he has given us in the Bible. This will give us a new respect of who he was as a person. And, it, and through this, as the Bible calls it a fear, but it's a, a respect and a reverence for God, it will change the way that we act and it will mold us to be more like him. If you're to see somebody that um, dies and rises from the dead, it will behoove you to try your best to learn everything that person has to say because this person has defeated death and nobody wants to die. No matter what they may say, people may say they don't want to live forever. Nobody wants to go through the pain of death. And you can know this by seeing if a person gets sick. The first thing you know what they're going to do is they're going to go to a hospital for help. Or, or if um, a wild animal is, is coming towards them, the first thing they're going to do is run because they're trying their best to preserve this life. And that's a smart thing to do. You know, the, the people who do commit suicide are people that don't have belief in God. I don't believe you can truly have a, a true belief in God and try to kill yourself. I just don't believe the Holy Spirit will allow you to do it. So our beliefs will mold us. The more we believe in God, the more um, the more respect we'll have for our life and the more we'll want to spend our life with Jesus in the afterlife and even the thousand year reign here on earth when the earth is renewed. So we have to remember where the power is. The power is not in the death. The power is in the resurrection. The power is in the belief of the resurrection. This is what changes the person. This is what makes a Christian. The belief that Jesus Christ rose from the dead three days after. And there is plenty of evidence for this. We can look at we can look at the apostles. These were men that were cowering away from from all the Roman authorities that were that were crucifying Jesus. They didn't have any kind of um, fight in them when it was time for them to uh, stand up for Jesus. They all ran off of them. They were all scared. But then three days later, here they are coming back, preaching the word and ready to be killed. And then we can uh, find out through Fox's Book of Martyrs that they were all killed. They were all martyred because of their belief. So these are people that were too afraid to stand up for Jesus. But then three days later, they're, they're out preaching and they're completely convinced that Jesus is Lord. So something had to happen. All these people could, couldn't have just, you know, work up the courage after, um, you know, just denying them three days earlier. It's the type of thing that happens because they were completely convinced that what they saw was true. The resurrection of Jesus Christ is the power. Belief in this will change you and it will make you a new person. It will start through sanctification and it will end in eternal life. Something to think about. Do take good care of yourself.